mentioned soul path. Mm -hmm. What do you, how do you describe what a soul path actually path. is? Well, if the soul path is a direction of where you, where do you fit in? Where, where do you go? Where do you belong? What are those events in your life that you should pay attention to? Um, and what are you going to do with it? Uh, does it, does making a decision give you great energy and passion and excitement? Or do you feel, hmm, that's not going to work for me? I think what for, what I, how I would explain it, Jim, is that it, it gave me a, a heightened sense of where should I go and what should I do? Mm -hmm. Now, I originally looked at soul path analysis from a business career perspective. And it's incredibly helpful. Uh, if, looking at it through that lens. But the soul path is more than that. It, it, it points you in the right direction. And, and that's why it takes so long for her to do it and for her to analyze and explain it to, to me. And we would do it on an annual basis. And I would go back and look at the notes and say, hmm, you know, shouldn't go that direction. I'm leaning towards it, but I'm going to back off a little bit. Mm -hmm. And and it's so it's okay to say no. It yes, and for me, I thought saying no was oh, I should do it. They want me to do it. Right. Uh, right and I'm miserable. Right. Right. There's the hope that maybe it leads to the next thing or something good will come out of it, and it turns out to be a disaster, a farce, and <laughs> yes. aggravating and frustrating. Yes. And why did they do that? Yes. Yeah. So I would say that's sort of like a blueprint. Where do you go? Where do you fit in? And are you going to grow from the experience? Are you going to use it to uh, f uh, further your own goals and desires? And, and it's about love. It's about universal love and embracing the love and giving it and receiving it and staying away from those people or events that do not fit into that because there's certain people where it's the opposite of soulmate, where you're just not meant to be working mm -hmm. together or they're just as, right. it's a polarizing. Mm -hmm. Have you come to sense that easier through all this training and expertise yes. and living it? Yes. You say that quick and, I, and I say, yeah. Yes, I say that. Uh, I've been learning that as well. Yes, and, and I know from, uh, from our work together and we, we began this part of my journey this summer. And I now know that my direction is going to take a different path. I, I knew it, I wanted it, but I didn't want to act on it until I felt 100% confident that I could take this path with the right people who cared about me, right. who care about the message, who are non-judgmental, and who understand that what I'm offering is validation. Mm -hmm. So I want to take that message to others who don't feel like they belong or, gee, I should apologize, I'm sorry. No, you don't have to do that. And it's, you're okay, the other person isn't okay. I mean, psychiatry, psychiatric offices or psychiatrists are loaded with patients. And who are self-loathing, yes. have no sense of self-worth, yes. and a lot of it's because it's been strewn on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, it has, and I feel now that I'm at, at the right place, I'm at a crossroads, and that I am going to go down this road and see where it takes me. And guess what? If you want to come along for the ride, have a great time. And that's what I said to Zora. I said, you want to come along and enjoy this? Let's do it. <laughs>